This morning, a search is on for the bodies of dozens of women allegedly murdered by a serial killer over the last several decades. A woman in western Iowa says her father buried the bodies on his property near the town of Thurman. That woman says her dad often lured his victims from Omaha, Nebraska. Stephanie Haynes is live with more on the search and the investigation. And Stephanie, this is just a bizarre story. Mitch, so bizarre. The man in question here is Donald Studi. He died back in 2013. And his daughter, Lucy, has told authorities for years that her father demanded she and her siblings help him bury the bodies of dozens of people in a well near their property in rural southwest Iowa. Authorities believe that these alleged victims could be sex workers from nearby Omaha, Nebraska, and may have never been reported missing. They got a tip recently about this well near the Studi property and cadaver dogs did detect human remains. Lucy reportedly estimates it's around 50 to 70 people. She says several a year over a few decades. And if this is true, it would make her father a, one of the most prolific serial killers in history. Here's the thing, though. Lucy's sister says this is all completely false and wants to clear her father's name. She told Newsweek that her father was strict, but not a killer. And she believes the cadaver dogs are detecting the grave of their stillborn sibling, who she says was buried in a shoebox near their property. Newsweek says Lucy has offered to take a lie detector test and has given two official statements to authorities, including the FBI. And so the sheriff's office wants to determine if there's any proof to this. They asked the FBI and the state uh, investigative team to come help. We'd heard stories about this for years, and right now our biggest thing is to set up the logistics to, to do this, and we ask for state and federal help, and they're willing to help us. The excavation could start as soon as next week. It takes a lot of planning. It's a very tricky process. That well could be 90 feet deep. It was built ages ago, and the cost is enormous. It's about $300,000. Mitch. Wow. Stephanie, that is, uh, like we said, a bizarre story, and it got even sadder in the middle of it. Uh, yeah. Thank you for that report. Adrian. A really strange story. Uh, hopefully they do get some answers soon. Thank you for watching. Go to NewsNationNow.com to find NewsNation on your television provider. And don't forget to click the red subscribe button below to get more of NewsNation's fact-driven, unbiased coverage.